Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Black Lightning, episode number two, The Wand of the Book of Hope. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the episode, just go ahead, click off, and watch the episode, and then come back. So spoiler alert, the reason why it's called The Wand of the Book of Hope is because Lawanda is a character that dies. Lawanda is actually one of Jefferson Pierce's students back when she was a student back when uh, he was first principal at the high school that he is a principal at. That's a mouthful. Anywho. So basically she dies because she looks, she's trying to find her daughter who's been kidnapped into a prostitution ring run by Lala. And Lala works for Tobias Will, who is the bigger villain in the group. So basically Lala cat sees her and then he wants her like out of the way. So he just shoots her straight up in, in the chest like three times and he gets his goons to clean up the body. But unbeknownst to Lala, before uh, Lawanda went out to confront him with her video camera, she had her phone set up on the dashboard to record uh, to record Lala in case anything happened, which was good. So like they didn't see her her uh, her phone camera just fall back, which comes back later in the end of the episode where they used to like collect evidence against Lala. But so before all of that, the episode starts off with Jefferson Pierce, aka Black Lightning. He's having all these pains. You see, like the electricity surge through his body because his body's not used to like fighting, because he hasn't. He's been retired for like the past nine years since he's just been a principal. And backtracking a little bit, uh, Lawanda is one of Jefferson Pierce's uh, students, which is crazy. So like he 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 asks her to like not to confront Lala and that he's gonna give him 48 hours so he can like get the situation situated and get her daughter back. And he thinks that he can just get the police to help. But it's, it's a pretty dead mission because most of the police is already like being paid by Tobias Will. So it's a dead mission. And it takes the death of Lawanda for Black Lightning to get back into action. But before any of this happens, Lynn, which is uh, Jefferson Pierce's uh, ex-wife, she thinks that him, be him becoming Black Lightning is an addiction. And she wants to get closer to him, but she thinks that him being a hero is going to ruin their relationship. And, and hurt the kids even more. And then Jefferson realizes that he has to become a hero again because at this point the city is becoming, is getting more into grave danger, which really sucks because he has all this power and he's been letting the fear of losing his family stop him from doing what's right. And he has a big argument with his wife, or his ex-wife should I say, and he realizes that he has to go out and save, um, not even to and save the city and to do that first he has to first avenge Lawanda because Lala got away with all the crimes that he did in the first episode because they didn't have any evidence against him and all the girls that were in the prostitution ring they basically just went back into the prostitution right after they were arrested so it's like everything that he did he saved his daughters but nothing much really happened so Jennifer uh, Jen Jennifer Jefferson's youngest daughter She's basically under 24 hour surveillance watch by the police. And one of Lala's, uh, his, Lala's nephew, he comes up like he's about to sell her like some fundraiser chocolate. And then he pulls out a, a gun, but the gun is actually filled with like, with like uh, fake blood. He shoots it at Jennifer just to indicate that she's a, a target. And this is what prompts uh, Jefferson into, one of the other reasons why Jefferson is prompted back into becoming Black Lightning, because he realized that if he doesn't stop Lala, he's going to continue to send more people after him. So Jefferson tries to confront Lala one more time, like, as Jefferson, as his, as his uh, principal so, And Lala tells him that it's too late now. He better, he should, he's better off just leaving the city, the state, and just getting away from it. Otherwise, his daughters are going to end up actually getting hurt. He said, you better be lucky that, that was, this time it was just a, a, a water gun, which is crazy. So this whole beef between... Um, What's her name? Uh, Lynn and and uh, Peter. She keeps she keeps telling Peter that he should. Con he, he's try Lynn is trying to tell Peter to not let Jefferson get back into the crime fighting life. And Peter is basically saying that okay, there might have been a problem like with him getting hurt before, but great people have to do great things with their abilities, which is pretty much him just rephrasing the whole uh, with great power comes great responsibility you know that's Marvel's thing but that's besides the point and he's basically saying that he has to do like Jefferson has to do what he has to do to save the city and the final argument with Lynn and Jefferson it just shows that 
uh, Jefferson actually has to go and save his family. So the action scenes, like the real action scenes, don't really occur until the last eight minutes of the episode. But before any of that, like we realize that uh, what's her name, Jennifer? She actually has a girlfriend, which I didn't know she was gay. So it's it's a surprise, but it's kind of unnecessary. And they just throw that in there, I guess, because you know they're trying to be more diverse. This is CW after all, which I have no problem with. That's cool. And she just talked to her girlfriend and talked about how she 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 had like this weird thing breaking the sink. And her girlfriend just thinks that she's under stress and that the sink is old, so she just got traumatized from being kidnapped by criminals. So they kind of just brush that off until later in the end of the episode. But basically, at the end of the episode, Jefferson he goes in, he puts he suits up. And he goes and fights uh, Lala and his henchmen. He basically knocks out all the henchmen at the entrance. He talks to like the to the doorman. And he to the doorman. He says, "Where's Lala?" He said he's at the top floor. And then basically he knocks out all the guys that are surrounding the elevator. And then the elevator guy says, "I'll take you right up." Like the elevator guy is actually a good guy. He's just working there. And he said, "No, nah, I'm gonna take." And then Jackson says, "No, nah, I'm I'm just gonna take the stairs. I need to get back into shape." So he goes up the stairs, knocking everybody out. And then he just goes. And he gets Lala, and then he's basically just beating Lala, shock electrocuting him, and punching him in the face. And this, at this point, you think that Jefferson is actually gonna kill Lala because he's so angry that he, his daughters got kidnapped. But then right when he's about to like pretty much almost beat him nearly, he's like, like uh, Lala is almost pretty much dead at this point. Like his face is all messed up, he's bleeding. And then the police arrive. Luckily for Lala, otherwise Black Lightning would have went crazy and just lost his mind. And basically, uh, the police tell him to put his hands up, and then uh, Black Lightning looks at uh, the police officer, which his name is the the detective who's inspected with the police, Henderson. And then I I feel like Henderson realizes that Black Lightning is Jefferson Pierce because they look at each other's eyes, and then he, he he like I think he gets the idea that it's probably Jefferson. So Jefferson's like sorry, and then he just jumps out the window, and then he like escapes. And then basically near the end of the episode, Lala gets arrested and uh, Henderson just explains to Lala that they have the evidence that he shot LaWanda from her phone that they found in her car. And Lala is pretty much screwed, so he's gonna go to jail. And then Tobias Will and his sister, they come up, you know, Tobias owns pretty much a lot of the excuse me. Tobias owns pretty much Tobias Will owns pretty much a lot of the police department. So he pulls up and then he says that you're a liability. Anyone that just shoots anyone out of out of just like anger and not thinking, cause he just killed Lawanda in the open like that, and he's basically a liability. He said that anyone that's just gonna kill somebody out of fear, they're gonna be like a threat to his business. So he chokes him out. He just like, ah, ah, ah. He's like ah. and then he just chokes out Lala and then leaves him in the cell. And then before the episode ends, we see that uh, that Anissa she's going to. He's going to like a drugstore to get like some sleep medication so she can sleep because she's been having nightmares ever since she got her powers. And I, and just coincidentally, a guy is robbing the drugstore. And then the guy just starts putting the gun at her. She's just like frozen, like her head is just spinning and shaking. And then the guy, the, the robber runs up on her with the gun and then she puts her hands on and she grabs the robber and throws him away. So it looks like Jennifer doesn't actually have like any electricity based powers. Like in the comics, she has a density power, so it makes her like her skin durable and like strong, like uh, Luke, like Luke Cage. And it also gives her like the ability to make her body heavier and stronger, so she's able to throw the guy with ease. And then the lady, the cashier, just looks at her like, was just all shocked. And then Jennifer, I mean not Jennifer, Anissa smiles and she just goes and buys some sleep medication. And then like the episode pretty much ends. So. The final conversation with Lynn and uh, Jefferson, she just basically says that if she's not going to accept him to be, to be a hero, then he doesn't even care anymore. He said he wants to be with her, but if it's not going to if it's not going to work out, he's tired of having maybes. He needs a definite definitive answer, and he's basically like, I don't care anymore. This relationship isn't worth letting all these people get hurt and die. So that's why Lawanda, this episode is called Lawanda, the Book of Hope, because. It pushes Jefferson into becoming Black Lightning again, which is great. Because now that uh, Jefferson is going to be Black Lightning, that just means that there's no more, oh, should I be a hero? Should I be a hero? All of that is done. The first two episodes were just building up on the fact that 
Black Lightning needs to be back for good. So the TV reporter's like, Black Lightning's back, but is he coming back for a vendetta or is he gonna be back to help the city? So basically by the end of the episode, we realize he's not back for, for any vengeance. He's just back because he realizes that the city actually needs him. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode. So go ahead, leave your thoughts in the comments below and leave a description. Hopefully this video will be up within like three to five hours of after the episode comes out. Sorry if I rambled a lot, but I just watched the episode. I just wanted to like start a discussion. So go ahead, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked about the episode. And that episode is also going to be available on CWTV.com. Again, that's CWTV.com. You can watch the episode the day after it airs on CWTV. And Black Lightning airs at 9 p.m. on Tuesdays every week. And I believe it's going to be 13 episodes for the first season. So we have 11 more episodes in the season. So it's pretty exciting. So go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. Like it, share it with your friends. And go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And go ahead and leave your comments below and tell me what you think about the episode, what you think is going to happen next. Because the next episode is actually called Lawanda, the Book of Burial. So I guess the city is going to mourn her death. And it will give uh, Jefferson, aka Black Lightning, more time to think about the impact of her death and, the, and how the, her death is going to push him forward as a hero. So I'm excited to see how they work that out. This episode was more driven on the plot and not... Uh, like action, the action didn't really happen until the end of the episode, so hopefully we get like a little bit more action and a more combination of the story as well. So it's not like, because I know there's, they are on a budget, so he can't be using like his powers every minute of the episode. So yeah, it'll be pretty cool to see all that. So uh, go ahead, leave your comments below, and I'm out. Peace.